hello everyone welcome again to gsmct so today we are gonna be doing a reaction video to the hunger games the ballad of the songs uh, of the song beds and snakes now before we get into this i'm going to remind you guys to please do not forget to press that like button subscribe and let's get into this Oh my god that that dog that do, that dog looked like it had rabies looks like it had rabies your father is dead coriolanus it was a rebel they say a trap out in the forest in 12 uh. So that's his grandmother telling him about his dad's death and he was very young approximately probably around the age of six or seven perhaps a little sharp today oh have you seen tigress my father's dress shirt no Oreo? tigress i'm sorry i know i'm late but look i think it's really gorgeous it's beautiful. <laughs> Best cousin ever. Calls in the building. Clint. And look at his spawn. Who would have thought that you could buy your way into the capital? Well, you can't buy class. Don't do that. We all know you like him. I don't like him, Arachne. I tolerate him. Oh, so they are just literally looking down on uh, one of their, you know, classmates. Wow. It, I mean, I do know people like this that would look down on their own fellow classmates, be like, okay, maybe they don't really deserve to be there. But it's crazy. His district. I heard one more time how immoral these Hunger Games are. I'll put them in the arena myself. So, Janus, you made it to the Reaping for once. And you made it to graduation, Festus. We're both shocked. So he's like, he's talking bad about Janus, and Janus just appeared. And he's like, uh, I would I would have, if he talks, talks bad again about the Hunger Games, he would have put him in the, in the, in the ring or something. And Janus just appeared looking at him like, then he just, you know, hold this dog. Spill it. Who won the prize? Well, no, I'm not going to ruin my father's big day. No one here actually likes him, but they do love his money. You know what that's like, don't you, Rackney? Funny. How tantalizing to see all your shining young faces on this auspicious day. <laughs> Viola Davis looked very, very different here. Yeah, she looks very different. I am Dr. Volumnia Gall, your humble head game maker in charge of the War Department and all its affiliated concerns. And now to that end, I am honored to introduce to you the creator of the Hunger Games themselves. Dean Casca Highbottom. Uh, and of course, Dr. Gall. <laughs> okay, for, first of all, the name. Uh, Dean Casca sounds nice, but Highbottom, which is Highbottom. <laughs> sounds like an English. It sounds like an English name. High bottom, 
the bottom high <laughs> high bottom you know what i'm being silly right here let's continue i have summoned you all here today for the 10th annual reaping ceremony in which we choose two children from each district throw into the capital arena to fight to the death in the Hunger Games. However. That is quite sad. That is very sad. I am here to tell you that there has been a change this year. One final assignment to prove your worth. Because the esteemed citizens of the capital have grown bored of the games and simply aren't watching anymore. And if the games are to continue at all, there must be an audience. <laughs> the Plinth Prize will no longer be determined by who has the best grades. Excuse me? But by who is the best mentor in the Hunger Games. Let the reaping ceremony begin! Oh, it's beginning. District one, boy, goes to Livia Cardu. <gasps> Girl goes to Palmyra Monte. District two, boy, how apt. Boy goes to Sejanus Plinth. Bruno Phipps, girl, hilarious heavens be. Lucy Gray Fair. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know. I'm sorry. that I hope that that is a very poisonous snake because if you're sending me to my death yeah uh -uh. no I hope no I, I I would probably be looking for a, a black member over a man this was over a man girl yeah. I, I, I look for a black member a cobra whatever it is venomous out there I'll be probably wearing gloves and just put it on you because uh -uh. what if I don't come out of there alive all because of a man. Mm. Help her! That's enough. Leave her be. But his name's a mystery. Can't take my charm. Can't take my humor. You can kiss my ass! <laughs> Whoa, Lucy. She has fire. She has a lot of fire in her. Come on, boys. Well, she's mentally ill. Proud, I see. Like your father. Yes, he and I were best friends. Look at you. Your makeshift shirt and your too tight shoes trying desperately to fit in when I know the snows don't have a pot to piss in. Ooh, that is mean. That is mean. <laughs> it's like, boy, I know you don't have money. I know your family, does. you guys don't have money. 
you out here pretending and let's not forget he was over there talking shit about his schoolmate too so yeah good luck with that poor little songbird he's sabotaging us that girl's not gonna win these games you saw her she's underfed i wouldn't sing a note for you if i was her i wouldn't do anything at all Unless I could trust you. She's district, Tigers. She knows we hate her and she wants us dead. How am I supposed to get her to trust me? Imagine it was your name that they pulled and you had been ripped from your home. I just want to know that somebody still cared about me out here. Wow. I really do love... I love Tigers. She has... A beautiful mind and it's the fact that she can understand what is going on and she has to literally explain to him hey you don't have to be a jerk ass in this whole situation because hey this girl just got pulled out of her community you know you you must try to you know put yourself in her shoes i i really love tigris i really do love her I wonder in the other game, Hunger Games, I haven't seen Tigris, but you know what? A lot of people do talk about her character a lot. Don't discount her just because she's district, Corio. You might have more in common with her than you think. Welcome to the capital. You look like you shouldn't be here. Well, I shouldn't, but I'm your mentor. A rebel. And what does my mentor do besides bring me roses? I do my best to take care of you. No! On your feet. Good luck with that, gorgeous. Right, come on, let's go. Uh oh, one of them tried to escape. Wow. What is he doing? What is he doing? Is he crazy? Jumping in that van, I mean, those kids could easily attack you there. I mean, you were talking with Ty he was talking with Tigris before, and she's like, These kids are just pulled out of their home. I, I don't think this is gonna go well for him. Hi, right. what's the matter, pretty boy? You in the wrong cage? No, this cage is delightful. Get him, Reaper. I will kill you right now. He'll do it too. Reaper killed a peacekeeper back in 11. Right, I, I say we all kill him. I'm in. Nothing left to lose now. Y'all got family back home? Kill them if you hurt him. Then you. Besides, he's my mentor. I might need him. How come you get a mender? Mentor. You each get one. <laughs> uh, she's like, she's like, how come you get a mender? He's like, mentor, you all get one. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, ow, ouch. Well, we'll give them a chance to stand up and catch their breath. I'm jealous of that entrance. I'm Lucretius Lucky Flickerman, a man who needs no introduction. You'll know me as your favorite weatherman and amateur magician. So this is how Lucretia started. Okay. What in the gem of Pan Am? You see, that's a Academy Rouge, no? Excuse me. Hello, sir. Yes, you. But if Lucretius was already this old when he started the broadcasting of the Hunger Games, my question is, why is, you know, uh, Snow 
you know, in the Hunger Games, look much, much more older than uh, Lucretius. Why does, you know, Snow, Mr. Snow, look much more older than him? I'm weird. Shouldn't he look much older than Snow? In the red. Who are you and why are you in there with them? We're live. Lucy we'll Gray, Brad. May I introduce you to my neighbors? Your response would be appreciated, but. Anything would be nice. Who are you, sir? What are you doing in the cage here? Hi. How do you do? My name is Coriolanus Snow. And this is my tribute. Lucy Gray Baird from District 12. Hi there. What's your name? My name is Pontius. It's nice to meet you. Is this your sister? That's Venus. She's only four. Oh, well, I think four is a very smart age to be. I'm Lucretius Lucky Flickerman, but more enticingly, who are you, Lucy from District 12? Oh, it's Lucy Gray, and I'm not actually from 12. No, my people are Covey. We're like a family. We're musicians by trade, and we travel from place to place as the fancy takes us. At least, we used to, before the peacekeepers rounded us up. I see. But now you're District 12. If you say so. Yes. That is so sad. Like, you were minding your business, and they just grab you and put you there. That, just, that is just sad. The game makers did tell you to jump in the cage with them. They didn't tell me not to. They just said that it was a mentor's job to introduce our tributes to the citizens of Pan Am. For the record, I think you're about to be whisked away, young man. Let's go. Well, hey, get us some food, please. Just when I haven't eaten since the reaping. The 10th Annual Hunger Games are soon approaching. So come down to the zoo and see these tributes before it's too late. And I mean, too late. Oh, goodness, God, that's terrible. Like, before it's too late, like in the zoo, they, you know what? I'm getting where this movie is coming from. I'm getting, because if you know what happened in history, like, uh, you know, Africans being put in the zoos, and, I'm, and they're like making this, like, you know, like, are you serious? It's like some people want to, you know, experience you know oppress uh, want to experience oppressive uh, being oppressed <clears throat> okay i'm moving for the game makers to disqualify you as mentor immediately you said we had to get our tributes to perform not that we had to stay away producing her to people you make it look as if we're one and the same as those animals coriolanus didn't show those people anything they didn't already know i don't need your help suggest the tributes are human beings just like us that's why nobody wants to watch the games it's because people know deep down that winning a war 10 years ago doesn't justify starving people's children taking away their freedoms their rights no fell down in the cage it fell down in the cage but it and I came here to ask your star mentor a question. What are the Hunger Games for? We be asking ourselves whether or not they're right in the first place. You have a problem with my games? Some of those kids were two years old when the war ended. Wow, that's sad. I mean, you're literally punishing the... The innocent for, for, for something that they had no hand in. So if they were two years old when the war ended, that, that, like they were already even there probably when all of this started. Wow. The oldest of them were only eight. The capital is supposed to be everyone's government now. It is supposed to protect all of us. So the sympathy might interfere with your mentoring assignment. Perhaps the capital students are ill-suited to be mentoring tributes.
Perhaps the game's time has passed. Maybe we should be viewing those tributes as human beings. If we need people to watch, we should be letting them get closer to the tributes before the games to make the stakes personal. Who will watch the games if they care what happens to the tributes? Everyone. If they thought the tribute they cared about had a chance of winning. Okay, I'm going to say this. I think Snow, you know, Snow is the snake here. Because he acts as if he has sympathy, but he comes up with these crazy ideas to even make things worse. I'd like you to write up a proposal of these thoughts tonight, Mr. Snow. Wait, you and you might, you might actually use his ideas? If it'll help the ratings, why not? Queer Linus and I are class partners. Dr. Gall, we do all of our assignments together. <laughs> it'll be an interesting test. Wow to give it to Viola Davis in this movie. I hope that she wins an award. I know the award season is over. I hope that at least one time she gets an award for this act because she is magnificent in this character. Wow. Quite the rebel. Oh, yeah. I'm bad news. Is that for us? Mm -hmm. So I'll get some rest. Come on, try One thing I learned in 12 is that hunger is a weapon. Your friend over there sure knows it. She is not my friend. She is poison with perfect teeth. She, can, she was teasing her. What is she, like a pet? You, you treating another human being like a pet? Yeah, that's what you get, though. It's okay, I'll get help. Somebody help us, please! Oh, poor girl. The poor girl got shot. Dr. Gall, please. In spite of yesterday's tragic events, our president has decided that the games must go on. Hmm. To show everyone the capital is unafraid of such acts of terror. To which end, Dr. Gall wishes you to preview the arena this afternoon with your tributes. Later this evening, there will be a special televised presentation of each tribute to our audience to, you know, get to know them. You will have an hour to discuss strategy. It's getting infected. I'm fine. Look at me, Lamina. I want you to win. It's Reaper, right? Um, let me read you what Wearing my mama's dress is the only thing keeping me together here. It's like she's wrapping her arms around me. My mother, she used to smell like roses. Look. I need you to sing in these interviews later. The night before the games and your last chance to win people over. I can't send you gifts in the arena without their money. 
Maybe. A guitar could persuade me. Maybe. Hmm. So he wants her to sing. I mean, how can you sing in a, in a situation like this? Like, you are in a deep shit and, uh, and somebody's expecting you to sing because of, you know, the audience. You don't even know if you're going to make it. Mr. Snow, Miss Dovecote, come and see my new babies. Which one of you actually wrote it? Well, there was... I was inspired by Coriolanus yesterday, of course. Hmm. His little wedding idea. But the sponsorships and the gifts in the arena, those were all mine. Clemmy. Oh, she lied. Oh my God. I'm pretty sure she's going to pay for this. So it's your sweaty handwriting on that page. Very impressive, Miss Dovecote. Unfortunately, my assistant mistook it for trash this morning and lined the shelf of this very terrarium with it. So please, Miss Dovecote, retrieve it for us, won't you? So we might all consider your inspired ideas. Oh, she's gonna get beaten. She's gonna get beaten by those snakes. Don't worry. My little predators are perfectly docile with those they can trust. So if they're used to your scent, if you've handled their food, for example, or if they've inhaled the sweat of your palm on a page, they'll leave you alone. Yeah, this is what lying gets you, by the way. This is what lying gets you. Come here. Ah! Ah! Who didn't see that coming? We all saw that one coming. You asked about the colors, Miss Dovecote. I want my enemies to see a rainbow of destruction engulfing the world. I'm not above using spectacle to create a little terror. They're good, your suggestions. I'm going to recommend my team implement as many as possible tomorrow. You better keep Miss Dovecote's fate between us. I don't think her mother would be happy to learn how she caught this sudden... flu. She called it a flu. Well, okay. Now run along, you have an arena to promote, and it's time for my milk and crackers. Welcome to the arena for the 10th Annual Hunger Games. Tributes, mentors, you have 15 minutes to survey the space and discuss strategy. Coralinus, please don't let me die in here tomorrow. Help me. Taking this opportunity to run away with the, the fact that the place blew up, but she she's choosing to stay.
Lucy Gray. Is she? She's alive. What happened? There was a rebel bombing. They must have been planning it for months. Marcus got out. He's the only one. Peacekeepers are hunting him in the streets, but at least he has a better chance out there than he would tomorrow. Tomorrow? They're not still going ahead with the games. Oh, no. Lucy Gray? Lucy Gray could have run. But she saved me. They blew the walls out. So that means you can escape up into the stands. There's a hole down in the floor. Leads down to some tunnels. I've tried it, and you can disappear down there. You can take this. No, no, it's too no, far. It is not a gift. It's a loan. What's in here? Don't touch it. Wow, so he's trying to cheat. He is trying to cheat in this game. Wow, okay. Don't even breathe it in because small amounts can be deadly. Good morning. I'm Lucretius Lucky Flickerman. I'm honored to say, first ever host of The Hunger Games. God is starting. <laughs> Ooh, Marcus. Guess we can all sleep better now knowing he's off the streets. The monsters! Thirteen tributes remain. Reaper is still looming large at the top of the charts, while Coral and her pack try to make a play. Six tributes gone in minutes. If they keep it up at this pace, we're gonna be out of here in no time. Wow, just sending children to kill each other. That kind of shows you the kind of world. I mean, to be sincere, I'm gonna tell you this. I feel like the world right now, we are almost in the hunger game. If you look at the way the world is going right now, the way, you know, society is moving. Unbelievable.
cold pressure system is going to swoop on in, bring in cooler temperatures and some much needed relief to our coal miners out there. At least. I mean, she could have just released him, but she just decided to kill him off. That's just crazy. Until early evening, that's the weather. I've got a hunch Pup is going to seize the opportunity. Don't see me, I'm not there. You can't save her by watching. What do you want from that girl? Nothing. I want her to live. Mm -hmm. And the plinth prize would be a happy coincidence, I suppose. I believe I'd be entitled to it. Of course you do. Of course you do. Is the girl. Mm, how convenient you don't have to choose between them. Who do you think makes that final decision for the prize you so covet, Mr. Snow? Wake up. Even if Lucy Greybeard somehow wins it all, I will do everything in my power to ensure that you don't see a dime. So, ask yourself, how much do you care if she lives now? Wow, I'm gonna have to say Mr. High Bottom over here is really making sure he's not gonna get anything from this. Like he is like if even if you win, even if Lucy Gray wins, I'm gonna make sure that you in particular do not get anything from this. He must really have hated his father because the fact that they both were friends, I mean the father did steal his idea. I don't understand that. And the fact that he doesn't want this hunger game, of course he kinda I, I kind of do feel like he kind of, in a way, resents, you know, Coral Nanus, you know, he does resent him. And the fact that he also have like these ideas, it's crazy. What have you done to him? I didn't do anything, Jessup. Are you okay? It's okay. Mr. Snow. What happened? Is it Lucy Gray? Unless you can put a leash on your deluded classmate, she might as well be dead as far as you're concerned. Sejana? Breadcrumbs. I believe sustenance for a fallen comrade on his final journey, a District 2 superstition. I'll work on finding the peacekeeper he bribed to get him in and cut out their tongue. In the meantime, I need someone to get him out right now. You should send peacekeepers in. Only to have him bolt and hide like a rabbit. Anyone sees us lose control of this arena, it might as well be sounding a horn to the districts to revolt. Well, so St. Janice actually, he went in there, I mean, he, he has been speaking out about this topic. He really does not want to be involved. And I don't know why they picked him, you know. I mean, this is a boy that have a good hat. And he is actually definitely mourning someone he tutored, you know. It's not something he wanted. Thought they'd send my mom. Yeah, I wish they had. You need to go, Corio. I'd like to. I really would. But I promise to get you out. Why? Because you're my friend. I have to do this. I have to go where the cameras are. Isn't Kenny Lynch watching this? 
gall cut to feed. Should be to kill you in here. She's just gonna say you died of the flu. You need to decide right now. Do you want to fight these tributes or fight for them? Because if you want to make real change, you need to stay alive. How can I make any change from out there? You're rich. Smart. You care. Go! Go! is something else he he is popping off all the red flags and he's acting as if he's good that's why i'm thinking he's the snake snow is the snake and i think lucy is the bad Screens gorgeous because I may have missed you tonight, but your songbird's next on my list. Who could imagine Crassus Snow's baby boy fighting for his life in the arena one day? What happened in there, that's humanity undressed. Fueled with the terror of becoming prey, see how quickly we become predator? Oh, they get it. They, they, they are getting evicted from their home. That is not good. He is in a desperate situation right now. Lucy, what is he doing? Something's wrong. He, he wouldn't turn on her like this. Just going after Lucy. Go to the stands. Go to the stands. Yeah. Stop running! What are you running? Yeah. What did you do to me? Rabies. He got rabies. <laughs> Both tributes from District 12. The same district. Folding in on itself. Wait, look. The foam. I think it's rabies. That bike from that train. Send him water. Please, please, please. please. What's wrong with me? Why are you talking to me? Oh. Over me now, I'm watching over you. <laughs> sleep, just sleep. Oh, going for this community pad. Yeah. Uh oh, she's trapped. <laughs> hey, Crow, do you mind if I take this one? Not a chance. Get this water, 
into a pile lumberjack. And then when you're done, you two can watch that beam while we get your little friend from back home up there at least. Seven tributes remain. Merciless Mizzen, Cunning Coral, Treacherous Treach, Dill Reaper of course, and the Lone Wolves, Little Wovey, and Lucy Gray. <sighs> this is just, this is just crazy. This is just crazy over here. <laughs> and who do we have here? Ah! It's ill dill. Tuberculosis on legs. <laughs> really? Did he have to be that mean? Did he? Like, he's, he literally said tuberculosis on legs. But why? Why are you going to be that mean? Oh no, that, that water is poisoned. You know, he 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 took he, he just took the plant, like like I mean, you literally put them there to die. What you 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 think they're gonna respect the flag? He just tore down the flag. Cover it with them. Cover them with the flag. Are you going to punish me now? Are you going to punish me now? Capital citizens, I'm afraid I must interrupt our games to announce a tragic loss. I mean, it's the way they caught that part, like, very, very, uh, you know, strategy. Like, the, the strategy here is crazy. Strategies, actually. Volumia, I'm pretty sure she doesn't want people to be too connected to them. Probably. Felix Ravenstill, son of our beloved president, has this morning succumbed to his injuries sustained in the rebel bombing out there in the districts. They will be celebrating this young boy's death as a triumph. I will not allow my games to give our enemy such a victory. I swear to you here and now. Before the sun goes down tonight, a rainbow of destruction will engulf our arena, even if it means there's to be no victor in these games. Wow. Wow. She's really pissed. She's she's extremely pissed right now. 
off. They broke loose. I didn't want the doctors asking questions. Come sit. Pull down your shirt. Jabber Jays, we called them. We sent them out during the war to pick up rebel conversations, squawk it back to us word for word. Watch. A failed experiment, but an instructive one. I'm rounding them up district by district now to see what better purposes they might serve. A failed experiment, but an instructive one. Wow. So the Bears are like spies that rake up what the other district are planning. So if you're planning something and one of those events hear you you know planning something or saying something against you know the district one you you, you probably be, you you are probably gonna face a lot of problems wow which means they're probably gonna kill you by the way i mean against the capital so if you if you talk against the capital your life is in danger. I'll see you in the auditorium for the finale, Mr. Snow. Should be proud of yourself. Your songbird, Lucy Gray, put on a wonderful show. Did Coral do something to the tree? Run. Run. What did she do to him? Ascension in the ranks! Tree just down! Good afternoon, Miss Sickle! kill them all for nothing so you were planning on killing lucy like this is the thing I, I do not even feel bad for coral the way she's dying because she's a terrible person anyways and that is goodbye to festus creed have a nice summer it's over she's won She's one, let her out. 
afraid that's not your call to make, Mr. Snow. One foot in the door But before I can fly When I've tallied the score And I'm flat on the floor I Right here In the old there before When nothing is left anymore Get her out. <laughs> wow, she made it. Ah, she's won! Lucy Gray! Willie Snow is the winner of the 10th annual Hunger Games! <laughs> I warned you, Mr. Snow. Uh oh. Oh, I did I found out he cheated. Cheating will be punished. More poetically than even I could have hoped. Lucy Gray, where is she? I would be more concerned with your own survival if I were you. We both know that child from 11 didn't die of disease. Or that lumberjack from Seven. And that old handkerchief. We found it in the snake tank, appropriately. <laughs> Condemning you with your father's own initials. Your family won't ever see that prize money now, of course. President Raven still has left your form of punishment to me, and I've decided banishment to the districts where you'll serve your capital in exile for the next 20 years as an anonymous peacekeeping grunt. Well, that's a lot. He's getting punished. Eight. Send me to 12. Please. He's going to 12 because he thinks Lucy's there, so he's going to 12 to see if she's, if she's there. You know, I thought I might find you here sitting all by yourself. So, James, what are you doing? What do you think? To what I did in the arena? My father had to buy the academy a brand new gym just so I could get my diploma. begged me to stay, but once I found out where they were sending you, I couldn't get out fast enough. All right, Snow, how about a song, huh? Can't take my pay. Billy should leave Lucy alone because this boy is the reason why she almost died and he did nothing other than say sorry so if she didn't make it if she had died in that arena then what and he's drunk over here going up like if it was me I would have beat him up I would have beaten him up or I would have made sure that he never comes anywhere close to me like are you crazy no I swore you wouldn't play with them again Billy Toke 
Oh, they beat him up over here. use that guitar on his head i would have used that guitar on his head i'm sorry because because of you i almost died and you're over here and by the way you're still with your girlfriend Duh. good High bottom. He had them send me home. High bottom did? He put me on a train himself, gave me some money. He said they'd sent you to eight. Breaking their rules? Saving your life? I'm just gonna say this. I don't I understand that there's chemistry there, but I don't think you like this situation it, it just sounds like he just helped her because he had feelings for her, so he wouldn't help her otherwise. Like, can't you just do something for someone without actually having your feelings entangled in it? This is always gonna end badly. I, I, it is gonna end bad. But I gave them my last cent so that I could come here to 12. Your boy's coming. See you later. Hey, you're back. Is he great? Who's the other guy with him? I remember that. From the academy, watching you watch everyone. Carefully choosing when to weigh in. Are you trying to help these people? Don't you think they need help? They lost the war, Sejanus. A war they started that made your family rich. Okay, I'm just gonna say Snow no sound jealous he is very jealous of say is it say genius he is jealous of this guy and it's the fact that say genius have a pure heart i think that is going to be his downfall his pure heart and his sympathy towards these people is going to be his downfall and like i don't understand why would you follow snow here snow have always shown that he's not your friend i get it he tried to help you one time but he wouldn't do it willingly willfully if you know volumia didn't ask him to go there and bring him out of the arena he wouldn't do it he is not a true friend he's not a real friend but of course the is, is oblivious to all of this i'm not about to throw away any chance i might have of getting home someday just because you feel a bit guilty Ever lost, and to the bridge they came It was my mother's. I'd like for you to have it. Hmm. Still smells like roses. Thank you. Take good care of it, I promise. What if this was our life, Coriolanus? Out here. Waking up whenever. Catching our own food. Living out by a lake. I mean, would you still feel a need for the capital even then? Coriolanus doesn't feel that way. He wants to go back and he wants to be wealthy. That is the thing with him. He wants to go back to the capital and he wants to be wealthy. And he is very jealous of his 
so-called friend, uh, Sejanus. And this is the thing. He, he has ambition. You can already see the ambition on the red flags. I understand that some people might think he has a little bit of sympathy behavior. But if you watch the way he's been talking about this whole situation from the start, you will know that he's just doing everything as uh, that actually benefits him. It must benefit him one way or the other. Did you two just pick this? Yep. Thank you. Oh. I received the results from your aptitude test this morning. Looked over your training records to your performances. Exemplary. Well, half the other recruits can't read, sir. You're General Crassus, nose boy. What did you do to end up here? I made an enemy, sir. In the capital. I've made a career out of ruining my enemy's plans. I'm going to reassign you. To officer training in District 2, you'll earn a real wage. Maybe even have another shot at the capital one day. Train leaves in 10 days. Wow. Is there a problem? This is an honor, Private, not an option. Yes, sir. Thank you. I just have to make it through officer training in two, and then I can make my way back to the capital. I will fix this. Okay. I'm gonna be home soon. I promise her. <laughs> I'm gonna say this, you know. Say Janus' uh, downfall is gonna be his sympathy and the fact that he really, really want to help people. That is his. That is gonna be his downfall. And you know, this one over here, he does, like I said before, he's not a true friend. He's not giving me, you know, the 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 kind of friendship that you would want. Like, don't forget when they were still in the capital, he was literally bad mouthing him. He is not his friend. And I feel like he's gonna do something that is gonna hurt him. Whatever it is you're doing, you need to stop it. What are you doing? Don't. I saw you talking to that woman in the jail. If I don't report you now... You don't know anything to report. They know we're friends, Sejanus. You're gonna get us both killed. You told me I could do something. You told me I could make a difference. There's a group of locals that are getting out of District Don't 12. Talk. Stop talking. I can't hear Listen this. Listen to me. Are you out of your mind? They're all rebels. I can't. Carlinus just started, I mean, he, he started the recording. He, he, this is done. This, this is a done deal. This is done. I feel sorry for him. Like, why would you do that? I mean, I understand. And, uh, okay, there is another aspect that I do understand. Whatever Sejanus does, if it comes down to it, if they get caught, yes, Carlinus will get punished as well. And he might actually die as well. So I do understand what he's doing is very, very risky and very, very stupid at the same time. He could have just gone about this another way, try to climb up the 
ladder, you know, into politics and try to resolve this. I mean, his parents are very rich. He could have taken different routes to this. But what he's doing right now is going to, you know, mark him as a, a rebel. And it's going to definitely put two of them, their, both of their lives at risk. Mr. Lil out of jail on base. Hoff is going to execute her just because she knows the man that they killed. It's wrong. I'm gonna help them get her. It's treason. Nobody's gonna get hurt. I'm just doing what you told me to do at the arena. I was just trying to save you. The first time you did something stupid enough to ruin my life. Don't make me rescue you again. I don't need you to rescue me, Corio. Just doing what anybody else would do, Corio. The leader, Spruce, he wants to get his sister Lil out of jail on. He, he is gonna die. He is gonna die. What do you think this is the guy? You said that nobody was gonna get hurt. That hey. was part of the deal. Hey, 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 hey stop! What are you doing? Guns, Sejanus? I didn't know there was gonna be weapons, Corio. They lied to me. You thought they'd be honest? Are you crazy? There are peacekeepers right out there. There's another one in here now, too. Okay. And the mayor's daughter? Hey, it's okay, Spruce. He's with me. I, he, I, I told him to come in here. He's gonna help. Hey, which? Don't be worried. They have guns. That is what I mean. The way Sir Janus went after this whole thing is crazy. Why do they have guns if they try to run away? Why do you have weapons if you're trying to run away? You invite the whole town plan? She's okay, Spruce. She's joining us too. She's with me. Is she what? Quiet down, Mayfair. I'll explain later. I think I'm done listening to your explanations. She's not going anywhere. And neither are you. My pa's gonna string y'all up for this. Stop. No, she'll tell everyone. She'll get us all, huh? He's right. No, she won't, Spruce. She's all talk, no action. What do you think, Lucy Gray? Mild talk, no action. Hey. How'd you enjoy the capital, by the way? Oh my god. You know what this is should have right now because this girl is a whole problem. Is her jealousy is too much and the fact that she's very jealous of lucy gray is crazy and is very dangerous the fact that she would rather kill everybody here then I, I, of course she could tell her father that her boyfriend was not involved in it her pops probably will you know protect him but everybody else is gonna, probably gonna be in great great danger see y'all at the hanging tree <laughs> no, no. <laughs> You reckon you just gonna walk out of here free? Good. She she deserved that. She really deserved that. Tell this on me, maybe. I said pop down. You caught surprise coming, Capital Boy. If I'm gonna swing for this, you swing with me. First of all, I don't feel bad for two of them. They are both terrible people. He's a shitty boyfriend and she's a horrible girlfriend. I didn't trust him anyway. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. You're gonna go back out on that stage and you're gonna sing. You're gonna sing like nothing is wrong and I'm gonna find us a way out of this, okay? Okay, I swear, I swear, I swear. Go, go. Get rid of these guns. Go. They will hang. Before the week is out! You okay? The mayor's going to get me killed, Gorlitis. Jordy thinks it was me. Billy Tope, Mayther are both dead. 
If they catch Bruce Nowhere, Sejanus talks. Sejanus won't talk. How do you know that? They torture the people they catch for information here, even peacekeepers. I'm sorry. Just wanted to say goodbye. I just learned Hoff is sending me to two for officer training, but none of that matters now. You were gonna leave. It's all Pan Am. As soon as they find that gun, they'll hang me. Tomorrow. Don't. Okay. Three years. I fought for the capital during the war. I've been angry. But this is the first time I've felt ashamed. Get the other one up here! Abba Jade, that these two men conspired to break into our basis jail and flee north. To release this terrorist from captivity. I'd expect this of a rebel, but not from one of our own. Oh my God! And say, Jane, it sounds, it looks like say, Jane is he didn't sleep. Oh, oh, he's not even about snitching now. You remember that? Uh, you know, Snow actually recorded him. Oh my God! And if Walumia have that record, that means the reason why they are hanging him is because of that record. And I have a hundred percent feeling that they, if it was just the mayor's daughter, I'm pretty sure had. His dad would have bailed him out of it with all this craziness. But this is something you can't hide because, you know, the snake, Snow, is a traitor. This is treason, plain and simple. Play the recording! The leader, Spruce, he wants to get his sister Lil out of jail on base. Hoff is going to execute Wait, her Koya, just because Koya, she Koya, knows help. the man that no, they no, no, no. Ma! Ma! <laughs> what is he what is he crying about like uh -uh. it's too late now to cry i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> I just wish there's more I could have done. I think there's natural goodness born into us all. No, really. You can either cross that line into evil or not. And it's our life's work to stay on the right side of that line. It's not always that simple. Mm, I know. Can you help me get this There out? was Bobbin in the arena in Mayfair, and who's the third? My old self. I killed him so I could come with you. The one who fired at Mayfair. Spruce must have known about this place. If we destroy that gun, you're free. You can go back home. Will you? You wouldn't tell anyone? Of course not. I'm just gonna go dig up some catness. There's a good patch down by the lake. Thought it was too early for that. Well, the world changes awful fast. Lucy Gray. It's still raining. 
Well, I'm not made out of sugar. Is that poison? She hid a snake in there. <laughs> Clever girl. You trying to kill me? Lucy Gray? Lucy Gray! I said, are you trying to kill me? I knew this relationship was not gonna last because the power dynamic was too different. I mean, he was in a powerful position. This girl had no other choice and she was just trying to survive. She didn't string him on. He was stringing himself on. This girl was, I understand that she played her part in trying to be able to survive, but she was not in a position to fall in love with him. And even though that was what it was, she still fell for him and he, you know, he he lost her, her trust. Medic said you took quite a bite. Nothing that I won't have forgotten about by the time I reached two, sir. There's been a change of plan, Private Snow. Wow, so he went back to the capital. I've asked President Raven still to grant you a full pardon, effective immediately. I also told him that you are too promising to waste in the military. So you'll be studying under me now at the Capitol University. I can't afford university. A certain Mr. Strabo Plinth has offered to pay for everything. ...you need while you're there. All for being such a good friend to his Sejanus. He doesn't know quite how good a friend you were, of course. I never mentioned your little recording. This is devious. So even the father of St. Janus is the one sponsoring his university. You can imagine that. You betrayed his son and you're taking money from the father. How devious is that? That is just wicked. After everything you've seen out there in the real world, let me ask you one final time. What are the Hunger Games for? I used to think that the Hunger Games were punishment for the district. Then I thought they served as a warning to us here in the capital. About the threat the districts posed. Now I know the whole world is an arena. Welcome home, Mr. Snow. <laughs> My Yola Davis creepy face in this movie is funny. I mean, she really is a very good actress. I like her character. I was going to return this to his parents tonight as a gift. It would have been his 19th birthday. But I think they would prefer justice. You 
grew a heart in the district. No. Oh, not in the districts. In the Hunger Games. I was drunk. Devise a punishment for our enemies so extreme, they will never forget how badly they've wronged us. When I sobered up, I wanted to destroy it, but your father... My best friend. He'd stolen it from me. Put both our names on it, taking it to Gaul to rise up himself. I hope the games might die out. I tried to stop them however I could. But then you came along. Wow. Now the blood of so many more generations will be on my hands. Because you've shown us the price people are willing to pay for a good show. When Custer was trying to stop this game because he knows that it is demonic, it is something that a lot of not a, good, a lot of people are gonna lose their life in this, and he blames himself for it. Look at you, heir to the plinth fortune, nothing in your way. Snow lands on top. games uh, the ballad of the songbird and the snakes so that was it for today and i'm gonna say this the movie is quite interesting and to be sincere i'm kind of feeling like we are living in the hunger games already and i did love the movie it is quite interesting and i hope that you liked my commentary and if you had anything to add to this particular you know reaction video please do not forget to uh, you know leave it down on the commentary section do not forget to press that like button and subscribe help me grow my channel because it will motivate me to do more of course to actually do more of a reaction video and keep you guys entertained now with that being said i'm gonna say this please do not forget to press that like button as it helps my channel and do not forget to subscribe if you're new here and I'm going to see you all on the next one. Have a great day, everyone, and goodbye. You must have bombed my home. Bo, we've got company. Listen to me. You have to get out of there. That's a lie.